Hey, I'm Jared Lanham and welcome back to Refiner's Forge. So today we're going to be making this folding handle camp skillet. This is going to be a collaboration with Mountain Manly. I follow him on Instagram and he also has a new YouTube channel. So stay tuned for the details on the collaboration and a giveaway. So anyways, let's get started on the project. To make this skillet, these are the three pieces that we need. So when I made this test piece... I uh, made uh, little templates so uh, I can just, uh, after I figure out the measurements and everything, so for future ones I can just trace it and I have to measure and lay out. But anyways, the top of this is two and a half inches wide and the bottom is an, an inch wide um, and it's six and a half inches long. And then the circle we're going to use for the pan is seven inches in diameter. And then this piece is for the hinge. And it's one inch wide. And um, this part is a ha the top part's a half inch tall. Bottom part's a half inch long, or a correction, an inch long. And these tabs are a half inch wide by half inch long. So I'm going to show you how you can do this all by hand tools and with the assistance of some power tools. So if you have one or the other. Anyways, we're going to start out by cutting out the circle. All right, so about the anvil here, I got my cold chisel. So this is hardened and tempered to a straw yellow. Um, so basically, I'm just going to take my chisel and go on the outside of this line I drew. I clamp just about the line here and bend it back and forth. You can see it's starting to break. Just keep working it around like that. All right, so this edge is kind of rough from the chisel cut, so we're going to take our file, smooth it out here. All right, so showed you the chisel method. Now I'm going to do these pieces on the bandsaw. My fancy on switch.
I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole here for the hinge pin. And so I measured a, these are a half inch long, so I measured a quarter inch in on either side. I'm going to put a center. All right, so now we got all our pieces cut out and filed. Now for the fun stuff. Time to start forging. All right, so I'm at the swage block here and I'm using a rounding hammer. And so I'm just gonna start working the, uh, the edge here. And this is the method that I got off of Black Bear Forge off of YouTube, John Schweitzer. He used the bottom of an uh, oxygen bottle, so if you don't have a swage block, you can go to the scrapyard, get an old oxygen bottle, and use that. All right, so I got it pretty much where I want it. I'm gonna heat it up and give it a good wire brushing. I'm just going to take a file again and kind of even the edges up a little bit. Alright, so now we're working on the handle. And I'm at the step of the anvil here. Now, if you got a swage block with some half round or bottom swage for your party hole, you can use that as well. In case you don't have one, you can step your angle here. Some 
light taps here. Just gently forging it. All right, so to get that nice and round, I have a bickeroon, so I'm gonna use that. Pretty happy with that. All right, so now I'm going to roll the barrel of the hinge. You want to roll it towards the top side of the handle. quarter inch drift here. All right, so now I got the hinge part in the vise, and I'm going to fold these tabs down. We got this set hammer or top tool here. Slipping in the vise a little bit. Reset.
All right, so this, this end is the end that's going to be attaching to the pan here. So I'm going to make my marks where I want the rivets to go. So for rivets, I'm just using these little nails, tip I got off of DF in the Forge, or DF in the Shop YouTube channel. So number 40 drill matches those. So that's what we're gonna do. And so now I'm just kind of back to the swage block here and just um, shaping this to the, the shape of the pan, the side of it. All right, so now I'm going to mark the holes on the inside of the pan because it's easier to drill them there. Take my center punch. Got the holes drilled in the pan. Now we're gonna start riveting it together. So the hinge piece goes on the back side. And you put the uh, nail through the front. And then this, Looks like a little anvil to hammer against. I'm just um, take the angle grinder, cut that off here. First one's a little more trickier to set than the other ones are. Trying to hold everything together tight and uh, it's still a little tall. fun to do and try to hold it together and not 
hammer your thumb as well. <laughs> Got this riveted on and now we're going to uh, make the hinge pin. So this is like a, my rivet header. This is a really cool tool. I got the idea off of some obscure YouTube video. I have no idea what it is. I wish I did so I could give them credit, but I need to make a video on how to make these. Pretty simple, but anyways, so I'm going to put this quarter inch piece of round stock in here. Just, just fat, maybe a sixteenth about a quarter inch sticking out. I'm going to use a torch. You could definitely use it, just do this with your forge. But... Definitely easier with the torch. So we've got all our pieces here. Time to assemble it.
heat up in the, well, I'll take the torch here, ease the joint. I want the handles to sit back a little bit further, so I'm going to bend this tab back here. Now I'm just going to heat it up in the forge a little bit and put some corn oil on it. So there you have it. So I got the idea of forging this pan from recently watching a video from Black Bear Forge, John Schweitzer, and a video I watched a while back uh, from DF in the Shop. Uh, I used John Schweitzer's technique for forging the pan, and then I got the idea for the folding handle from uh, DF in the Shop's video. I'll have links in the description for those if you want to go check those out. But like I mentioned, this is a collaboration between myself and Mount Manly. I've follow, been following him on Instagram for a while, and then he started a YouTube channel. I checked out one of his videos, and he was out in the woods cooking something, and he was using kind of one of those standard backpacking aluminum fold-out handle things, which is fine, but didn't really match the other really cool handmade leather gear that he has so i contacted him and he was gracious enough to agree to do a collaboration with me uh and so i'm going to send one of these pans to him to test out for me and then the other one we're going to be giving away so the rules are uh comment on both my video and Mount Manley's video and tell us what you liked, what your favorite part in the video was. And then follow us on Instagram and tag a friend. So do those things and you could have a chance to win one of these pans. Also, these pans will be for sale. Go check out my Etsy page and uh, for the details on that where you can order one. So don't forget, check out the description for all the links you need for entering the contest, for checking out Black Bear Forges and DF in the Shops videos on forging a pan, and my Etsy link if you would like to buy one. All right, thanks for watching. Check out Mount Manly stuff, and we'll see you next time at Refiner's Forge.